Welcome to Outdoor Buddies Adventures. I'm Ron Cuck. Today we're going to take you on a black bear hunt in New Brunswick, Canada with my good friend Raymond Roy. And I was able to harvest a very unique black bear. Now it wasn't the biggest black bear I ever seen and wasn't even the biggest one I seen that week. But the color on this bear made us make the decision to take him. Let's go to that hunt. Almost ready to go in. It is way too muddy up in the field to drive a vehicle. You got to use the four wheeler. Hopefully, this wind dies down a little bit and the rain stops. First thing I do every time I come into my stand is I go to my trail camera, pull out my card, replace it with a new one, and when I get to the stand I check out to see what came in the night before. This is a brand new stand. We just, uh, my guide Raymond Roy just set it up uh, a few months before we got here. Yesterday we came in and put the stands in and seen a nice bear on our way in out in the field. Uh, and this is the first time in 27 years that I won't be using a bow. Well, I'm using a form of a bow. I'm going to be using a crossbow. My grandkids love them. They've shot a lot of animals with them. And I've never shot anything with one. And the company that sponsors me gave me one and said, try it out. And Schwacker gave me some broadheads and said, see how they work. So we got a new crossbow, a Parker Tornado F4, and Schwacker three blades. So we're gonna sit back here, hopefully the wind don't blow everything out of the woods, and a bear comes in. The first two days were a complete washout, but the third day, the temperature went up 20 degrees, and the bears were coming in. And this little guy here was the first one to show up. Well, that was just too small. But there's definitely something out there that's bothering him. He kept looking and looking and finally he just walked back out this way, but definitely was the one I wasn't gonna shoot. It makes the evening go by nice though when you see something else, something like that. We did see a mother and two little cubs earlier. They scared off another bear that was walking in, which was much taller than this one, but I didn't get a good look at it because the, when the mother and the two cubs came, it took off. And they wouldn't come in. So let's sit back. We have about an hour and a half yet. Then the bear I've waited for 10 years for on this farm was on his way in. But I could not believe I learned another valuable lesson to always push the bait to the far end of the barrel so the bear has to turn and face the barrel and go in. And if he would have done that, I would have went home with a monster. That huffing sound you hear in the background is the big female that was with him. I guess she was telling him, hey, don't go in there, there's something wrong.
Yes, folks, this bear stood this way the whole time for over three minutes, never giving me a shot. This bear jumped up on our tree and was just about to get to my stand when I hollered at him and was ready to hit him and he jumped back down. But it didn't even bother him. He turned around and walked right over to the bait. He was hanging on our tree, pounding on it twice. I chased him down. He just got down and went over to the bait. Here he comes. Now this next bear really got my attention. We seen the different color on the top of his head and at first I thought his head was rubbed. And then my wife zoomed in with the camera and said, nope, that's the color of his hair. And I too looked down when he come aside of me and I thought, it is, he definitely has blonde hair in his head. So we waited to hopefully that he would come in and sure enough, he was making his way towards the bait. Yes, folks, I'm a little superstitious. Every day that I don't shoot a bear, I switch to another arrow. And I didn't shoot a bear for three days, so I switched from a three-blade swacker to the two-blade swacker just to change my luck. And it's gonna pay off. When he steps out in the opening, I asked my wife what I should do, and she said to take him, and that's what I did. Shot looked good to you, didn't it? Looked like it went right through him. I aimed right for like the heart, the lower third. He's crashing. He's crashing, but who's who's? Oh my God. Can you see the rock down there? Look at the blood on the rock. about that unique coloring on his head. I don't think it was rubbed. I think it's a unique color. That's what made me want to take him. That color was kind of unique. Well, I think we're gonna get down. I think it's done. I think my Luminoc is right down there, in front of the barrel on the other side.
you just never know. So I may as well cock it and be ready. Is it ever bleeding? Where's my arrow? Let it there. That is soaked. Get that blood off my hand. Look at how he went up over this rock. He's laying right up here. Oh my god, look at that. Look what that schwacker did. Oh my god. Look how he was falling already. If you step over here, here he is. Holy moly. Did that swacker do a number or what? Get in right behind him, we're taking pictures right there. That is unique coloring on the hair. That's not rubbed. I knew it wasn't. I'm gonna take this broad head off, arrow off. Oh my God, what a unique color. Oh no, it feels like paint. <laughs> I don't know if it's paint or color. What a unique color here. I'm not sure if it's not paint. <laughs> I thought it was unique color, but I'm not sure what it is. What a nice bear though. Pretty nice bear. But Oh Lord, did that swacker do a job on him. We're gonna probably hurry up and get some pictures. Get all our stands and stuff down tonight because we're out of here tomorrow. Awesome, awesome hunt. This is the, let's see, six last night. This is the third one tonight. Nine bear we seen. Six yesterday and three today. This was the third one today couldn't get no video of the second one he was just ready to come in and this one scared him off so we didn't get no video of him but awesome bear yes folks that bear somehow got sprayed by the line painting truck that was painting lines on the road about a half a mile from my stand site now, whether it was accidental or it was on purpose, but it sure faked myself and my wife out because we were sure it had blonde colored hair on its head. But nope, it was yellow line paint. <laughs> well, that's our show for this week. Join us next week when we take you on a trip that's a very special anniversary trip for my wife.